In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add links and call to actions inside of your Loom screen recordings. Inside of Loom, you have the ability to add links and call to actions inside of your screen recordings, which can be used to link to any resources you mentioned inside of the video, materials, quizzes, websites, their Google Classroom page, or even their work for that lesson. But why should you use them? For starters, they're much more engaging than flicking between a Google Classroom page and then the video, but also once you get to the end of a screen recording, it just abruptly finishes, and this isn't a great way to keep your students engaged. To do this, all you want to do is head on over to the right-hand side by this navigation bar here and click on Call to Action. Following this, it will open up a box on the right-hand side, and to start off with, we want to give our button a title, for example, go to the quiz, go to the document, or whatever you want to call it, telling the students what they need to do. And underneath this, you've got button link or button URL. This is where you'll insert the link to your Google Classroom page, the resource you mentioned, your quiz, your slides, your Jamboard, or whatever you've mentioned and you want them to visit. But I'm going to choose this Google form I've created. And underneath this, you have three options, but these are more personalized options, which you can choose to make the message or more personalized for the students or for your lesson. And you can do this by starting off by changing the button color or the text color, simply by clicking on it and clicking on a color that you'd like. And if you want to, you can do the same for the text, but I'm going to leave mine as it is. But the final option on here is button corner style. And Loom Screen Recorder gives you three options for this slightly rounded, which is this one here, squared or rounded. And this is a personal choice for you to choose from on how you want the button to look. And once you're happy with all of these options, click save call to action at the bottom. And now, as you can see, instead of the video abruptly ending, it gives me two options, watch again, but also our button, which if we were to click on, it will take us to the quiz, which I've linked it to. And now what you want to do is learn how to add quizzes directly into your screen recordings. And you can do that by watching the Edpuzzle tutorial shown on screen now. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.